Hello everyone, this is Chris. Welcome back. Today we're going to look at some old trains that I bought in a collection. Uh, I packed them up this summer and there's quite a few boxes left, but we're going to pick out one today and, and see what was inside. So if you like this video, I do have a couple others that I've done, unboxed a few other trains, so take a look at those also. So thanks for tuning in and we'll get started. Well, today we're going to open up this box. This is one of the boxes I packed up from a collection I got this summer. And this one says these trains came off shelf number four. And it has uh, two tin plate trains and a 681 turbine. And it's in a medium sized box you can get from Lowe's. And I just wrapped them up in newspaper. So I want to get them out of there and see what see what they look like. So I'll go ahead and open it up and show you. Well, this is what it looks like with it open. I have one box car with a man on top. I didn't wrap up, so I didn't bend them. So I'll go ahead and take all these out and lay them on the table. And then we can see how many there are and start unwrapping them. Well, here they are out of the box. There's 25 items wrapped up. So I'll go ahead and unwrap them and just leave them right where they are on the table and then we'll take another look once they're all unwrapped all right here they are out of the pack out of the newspaper got three engines and i guess two it'll make up two tin plate trains some hopper cars covered hoppers a caboose so let me arrange them and we'll be able to look at them a little bit better all right, I've laid them out now, made them up into their trains and related cars. So I'll start with the two trains, the tin plate. Here we have a 1668E, and it's probably the oldest based on the couplers. It has those latching style couplers. This is a 1679. Here's a tank car, it's a 1680, and then the caboose, a 1682. I really like this style engine with the streamline. Here's another one. That one was in gunmetal and this one is, is black, 1668 doesn't have the E on it and it has the newer style couplers this one actually has a whistle in the tender same baby Ruth boxcar with a different color combination this is 1679 also and tank car 1680 and caboose So the other engine that was in the box <clears throat> was this 1666 and they're really nice engines also. All these old ones run really well. I'll have to try to get these working. And this one, the, the other, this one doesn't have a whistle either. Only the one engine. All right, back here we've got some covered hoppers, two Norfolk and Western and a Lehigh Valley. One Norfolk and Western's gray. I guess it's a 644, 625. This one is a 644, 625. And this is a 643, 61. I noticed one of these was heavier and they actually had taken the roof off and looked like what actually looked like uh, cement, like mortar they put inside. Here we've got four operating hopper cars. Great Northern. Chesapeake in Ohio. I already 
already have one of these. This is what I operate when I was using my coal ramp on my old layout. Is you can dump the car, the coal into a a bin that goes to the uh, coal loader. An Erie and a Redding. They all look to be in good shape, but they're a little dusty. Then <clears throat> back here, the last line of cars. First one is this Wabash box car, an operating car with a man on top. Then we have the generator car. I always like those. They come with a telephone pole, but I'm not sure I might have it somewhere else. And there's the interesting caboose, a TCA caboose for a national convention of 1966. So that's pretty old. All right, the last three are these mint cars. There's a Fort Knox mint car. And here we have Carson City, Carson City Mint. And the last one is the Denver Mint. They're from 1981. The other one was 83 and then the 79. I think he liked collecting the Mint cars. I think I have several more still to unbox. So that's what came in that box. It's a pretty interesting assortment. I decided I'd do a video on this and have a little variety and things. I got a little burnout working on the layout. So I'll get back to that in a week or two. So thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time.